this project gave me the blues. I'm going to tell you why. what's going on thank you so much for stopping back by my channel as you can see by the title below the title below we're gonna be doing another diy project this project is gonna be a hourglass hourglass decor i did this one project two different ways one in this really chic farmhouse look and another in this modern chic look both of them turned out great i'm gonna keep it real with you guys this project gave me the blues. I'm going to tell you why. I could not find wooden dowels to fit the height of this project. So I went looking, went shopping everywhere. And I said to myself, self, myself said, hmm, you got to get out. You got to get this thing done. So I finally figured it out. So, if you're interested on how this project turned out, please stay tuned. Let me know how you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up. This, this, this project, for some reason, was hard for me. So, let me know what you think. See you soon. Bye. Okay, starting off with this project, you want to take these two little square wooden wall decor pieces that I purchased at the Dollar Tree, and you want to remove all the hardware from it. These came with little cute sayings on them, so I decided to go ahead and keep them for a separate project. And they also have like this little layer of burlap. You want to go ahead and remove that layer because you're going to be using that a little bit later in the project. Once you have all the hardware removed, you want to go ahead and paint or spray paint the blocks the color of your desire. In this case, I decided to go with white. I know that you see four square blocks here, but I decided only to use two. I'm going to be using the square blocks for the white hourglass and these round plaques for the black hourglass. You will see later on in the video. So once these are painted, I then moved on to the black hourglass. Because I spray painted these, 
you won't see that on camera. But I just took this wooden plaque and those wooden dowels and went outside and spray painted them the same color. Now, let's start assembling the hourglass. These are mockingbird feeders. I purchased them at the Dollar Tree along with the sand that I'm going to be pouring into these also at the Dollar Tree. Right here, you see me tracing out a circle. This circle is going to be used as a barrier between the two halves. Once you cut the circle out, you want to poke a hole directly in the circle. Once you do that, you add sand to one of the to one of the bottles, just one. And then that circle that you traced out, you glue that directly on the opening of the bottle. If you're still with me, you're the real MVP. Thank you so much for sticking it out. So you want to glue the two half of your mockingbird feeders together just like so and then you want to sit it to the side just so that they could dry completely. So just for the sake of the video I used hot glue to glue the hourglass to the wooden plaque but I did go back with my E6000 glue to make sure that I secured the hold on these. So just like how you see me assembling this hourglass you do the same thing to the white one. So once you have your mockingbird feeders glued together you stack that on top of the wooden plaque you glue it down and then these wooden dowels you glue on each side of it and then you place the second half of the plaque on top. Just that simple. And this is how both our glasses turned out. There you have it. So this is how the DIY hourglass decor turned out. Let me know what you thought about this project. As I stated before, for some reason this project was the hardest for me to do. I'm not sure why, because it's super simple. So let me know what you think about this project. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And most of all, don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you'll be notified. Thank you so much again for stopping back by my channel. I'll see you soon. Bye.